Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a video that is long, long overdue. I have been asked on Twitter many times why I haven't been making videos and to be honest I'm not going to waste your time or my time to those who aren't interested uh, uh, explaining myself on this video. So if you are interested in why I haven't been posting, simply uh, go down and look in the description, look right at the end because I'll put the players names and um, what I think of them also in the description. But anyways, this is just to show you guys my team. now. Being away for a, a little while I have had time t uh, to myself just to uh, make teams have a bit of fun play a lot of FIFA 12 and uh, enjoy myself so um, let's get started so at the top here guys I've gone for a 4-3-1-2 formation and uh, what this formation has allowed me to do is allow I have three attackers and these three guys all make runs they're all bursting uh, through the defense trying to get in behind which wor works really well and despite these um, two top guys not having a lot of pace it doesn't really matter because they're uh, they usually uh, manage to cut up the defense as it is so um, just before I go any further I'd like to just uh, point out the fact that everyone in this team does have nine chemistry absolutely everyone and uh, my center back and left back uh, and goalkeeper for that matter don't have exactly the right formation yet everyone is on nine chemistry you can see um, on the right there it's uh, 99 chemistry and uh, that's the maximum you can get without a manager so uh, that pretty much makes this team a really nice hybrid now um, I've got uh, Italians, uh, Italians and Brazilians pretty much, but they're all part of uh, Syria except for some of the defense and the midfielder. So uh, let's get straight into it. So at the top, uh, top left we have uh, Paladino, and um, a lot of guys have preferred Pasquato in this team, but for some reason I much prefer Paladino. His four-star skills, um, you can use the the Berber spin and. Um, uh, just a bunch of uh, good skills that uh, come with the four star package and uh, that's what I've tend to use with him he's a good finisher and he's got a really good shot on him so uh, that's what I've decided to go with him you can pick him up far cheaper than you can pick up Paladino as well this guy uh, will be around 5 to 10k for you and um, also just as a heads up I won't be giving out how much um, I paid for this team because the market changes constantly and if I bought this team uh, a few months ago it would be a completely different price or if you're watching this a month after it's uploaded a completely different price so there's absolutely no point but you guys can research the player names and find out for yourself if you really are interested anyways we all do know that uh, El Shawari he's the most expensive player on this team he's got five star skills and a lot of people might be like what's the big deal with him you look at his stats and let's be honest they're fairly average I mean they're, they're good stats for silver but they're nothing special whatsoever 81 pace he's not a pace abuser 70 uh, shot for a uh, silver which is pretty good I have to admit but what's the big deal about him well one thing people uh, that people like about him is his five star skills and to all those skillers um, if you're a skiller then you've definitely heard of him but he is a really pricey player but the reason why I like him so much is because of his five star weak foot so that pretty much means he is naturally right footed but it doesn't really matter what foot you uh, shoot with and that's why I have him playing on the right because I like to have um, the ability to cut in and shoot with a, a left-footed player if I play um, the striker on the right but this guy he can play on both so that allows Palladino um, who's the left striker to uh, do well and uh, like cut in and shoot with his right and uh, El Shawari can use both feet so that comes in really handy and um, now moving down to the center forward position I have a Barreto who has actually surprised me the guy he looks kind of strange in his photo but uh, I didn't really think he'd do much for me his 82 pace he, he's, he's nothing too special on the surface as like uh, El Shawari but my gosh this guy this guy has crazy good finishing his finishing is really nice and he makes runs constantly he never stops running in the game which is uh, just awesome for me Anyways, swiftly moving on down to the midfield, we'll start on the left here. Now this um, Felipe Coutinho, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Uh, sorry for pronouncing any of the names uh, incorrectly, but you just have to bear with me. Now this guy, he is a fantastic midfielder. Uh, once again, stats don't tend to jump out, but he dances around his agility. I think he has 90 agility. Um, he dances around defenders, and it, most of all, he's a brilliant playmaker. Um, he has alright shot, uh, long shots if to those interested, but uh, they're nothing worth noting. Um, so I, I'd go with him, although he can set you, he is uh, quite expensive um, for a, a centre mid. He'll probably be about 15k-ish at the moment that I'm uh, doing this video, so uh, that's something to watch out for, but he's definitely a centre mid. If you're making a Syria, um, a Syria silver team, then he's got to be in the middle. 
Uh, now moving to the midfield, we have uh, Carlos Alberto, who has now been upgraded to a gold player, and he moved to uh, Vasco de Gama, I think that's how you say it, but um, this guy, 5-star skills, he is quite slow, but um, he is a really good player. He's the best at doing skills for me, and what I mean by that is that they're quick, they're swift, and they're really effective when I use them, and he sits nicely back, and his shot is quite nice from uh, really far back, so he's someone to, that is uh, important, and he links um, pretty much the whole defense. I mean, Manuel and uh, Thiago Silva, the two center backs, he links with them really well. Moving on to this, my center mid. Now, he only has two links, and um, it's important that you note that he is a Italian in the center mid, but I still managed to get nine chemistry because of the right back is from the same club and from the same country, and those two link really well together. But most importantly, Lazari. Um, just long shots simple as that he is an absolute monster when it comes to long shots um, a great player he can be quite expensive when I say quite expensive I'm talking about the 20,000 uh, coin mark maybe 25,000 depending on when you're looking at this video but his long shots are unreal and that's why I have him in this team here um, absolutely crazy player um, he's left footed as well so he sits nicely on that left center mid position so he can uh, move in and just strike it and he has got an absolute peach of a long shot now for me he is the best long shot taker in the game but I personally don't go for many myself but um, he's the one I've scored the most with and um, just an absolute outstanding player and someone you guys should definitely look into if you're building this team Right, okay, let's move to the back four. Now, the back four is really impressive. It's a fantastic team. Uh, right back, we have... The reason why I went with De Silvestre is because he links up. He's the only person that could give um, Lazari 9 chemistry, and it was really important. But little did I know, I put him in there, just putting him there for the, for the pure fact that I wanted um, Lazari to have 9 chemistry. And, my gosh, he's an absolute tank. He's a big guy, 82 pace. It's all right for right back. He's not super quick. But he keeps up with most attackers, and he is he's a bulky guy, so he he'll easily easily push them off the ball. So he's uh, he, he's definitely someone you got to have, especially if you're using Lazari at centre mid. Moving on to the two centre backs, we have two of the best silver centre backs in the game at the moment, Thiago Heleno and uh, Manuel. Now Manuel, he is a very pricey centre back due to his 80 pace. He's got 90 jumping, I think it is, and uh, he is just an outstanding player. So if you can afford him absolutely go and get him if not then that's fine there are other center backs silver center backs that you can get but i mean if you have 30,000 25,000 to spend on a center back then do it he will he is a fantastic center back and he's what keep the back four in shape um coming up to also thiago uh helena he's got 74 pace and i like pace in my center backs to keep up with the uh, really pace abusing attackers and it's really important right moving on to the left back now this is the only five star left back in the game uh, i'm pretty sure don't take my word on it but I'm pretty sure he is and with 89 pace there's nothing you can go wrong once again quite expensive but I'm surprised that he's not worth more due to him being um, one of the very rare if not the only um, five star left back in the game so, uh, now in the goalkeeper this guy for me has been the best silver goalkeeper I've had now I do have quite a few other silver teams but this guy is a cracking player Diego Cavallari Cavalieri, I'm not too sure how to say it. Uh, remember guys, all the names and uh, things I like about them will be in the description if you need to refer to them. Um, fantastic keeper, great shot stopper, and just in general a reliable keeper. Uh, very, very little bullshit happens with him. I find that with a lot of keepers, they just do silly things, drop the ball, just absolutely unnecessary things, but this guy does it all for me. So, uh, That'll be it for uh, this uh, this team. I have a lot of other teams that I really want to show you guys, but follow me on Twitter. I tweet out my teams regularly. I ask for your opinions. I give out uh, pretty good trade offers, and I'm just looking to uh, build my squad on there, and you get to see um, a lot of the banter. And uh, my sub spends, uh, you can't really see it, but it's nothing special. No one really worth noting. I have a 96 uh, right mid, Bia Biani, but um, nothing too special on the bench. So that'll be it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.